Quintalo Hattori opened a shop selling and repairing watches and clocks in central Tokyo. Right from the start, he decided that he should be always one step ahead of the rest. Quintalo started by importing clocks and then pocket watches, but his real goal was always to be a manufacturer. In 1892, he set up the Seiko Chef factory and started to produce wall clocks. The name Seiko comes from the Japanese word, meaning precision, and Kintaro named his factory the House of Precision Seikosha. In 1895, the company building was constructed. The clock tower came to be known as the Hattori Clock Tower and was soon known by everyone in Tokyo as the landmark symbol of Ginza. On September 1st, 1923, the Great Kanto Earthquake struck Tokyo. The company building and the Seiko Chef factory were both completely destroyed by the fire that followed the earthquake. These burnt watches gave us a sense of the devastation caused by the earthquake. Just a few months, after this disaster, Quintalo placed an advertisement in a newspaper. It said, since our customers' watches and clocks were damaged because of the earthquake, we'll replace them with new ones for free. Because Quintalo made this generous promise, his company won the trust of many people. In 1932, the main office and store was rebuilt on the same site in Ginza. These are pictures from those days. The man in the center of this picture is Kintalo, our founder. The man wearing glasses is his son, Genzo, who took over when Kintalo died. The boy to the left of Kintalo is Kentaro, my father. And the boy on the right is Reijiro, my uncle. They went on to be presidents of Seiko, Good morning. It is 135 years since my great-grandfather, Kintaro Hattori, founded our company. Every generation of my family has been involved in the development of Seiko, including my grandfather, Genzo Hattori, my uncle, Leijiro, and my father, Kentaro. As I look back on the long and broken history of my family and Seiko, I am proud of what we have done, but I also feel a great responsibility to ensure that Seiko prospers in the years ahead. Our industry is entering a period of change and of new opportunities. I enjoy the challenge and I look forward to continuing my family's tradition. 2016 is important in another way. 30 years ago, the Basel Fair decided to open its door to exhibitors from outside Europe. Seiko was delighted to accept their invitation and we remain grateful to MCH and Basel World for their generous hospitality back then and today. So, 2016 is a major milestone for us, but I have come here to talk about the future and not the past. During the next 30 minutes, you will see a collection that is both surprising and powerful. I think that it is one of the best introductions we have ever made in the 30 years of our presence here at Basel World. 
For 2016, we have a new strategic direction for Seiko. For two decades or more, we had a regional strategy in which we made watches that fitted the taste of each region. It worked well for many years, but today we all live in one global village, and it has been clear to us for some time that we needed to adapt. This is why in 2010 we launched Grand Seiko Internationally. It is why Astron and Prospects are global collections, and why Premier is now also more widely available. Today, we complete the globalization of our elite collections with new creations in each of these cities and with the launch of entirely new collections called Plessage. In Grand Seiko, we will show you a new sports design and a new creation that will widen the appeal of the brand. In Prospects, you will see that we have created a GPS solar watch using the technology that has, until today, been reserved for Astron. In Astron itself, you will see another new caliber that will bring the advantage of GPS Sora to those whose taste is more classical. In Premier, we have created an entirely new design series that takes the collections in a new creative direction. Finally, Presage today becomes a global edit correction. It is a full line of mechanical watches in a medium price zone. Presage will be heavily promoted throughout the world and will bring our mechanical watch making into the spotlight as never before. In 2016 and for many years to come, the new Seiko strategy will concentrate on these five corrections. And we have a special surprise for you. For the very first time, we have created a two Rubian watch. It is part of the Cradle collection and is made by three of our leading craftsmen. All of them have been recognized as contemporary master craftsmen by the government of Japan. Satoshi Hiraga assembles the movement. Kiyoshi Terui is the engraver and the overall design was entrusted to Nobuhiro Kosugi. The watch design is based on the image of Mount Fuji, made famous by the ukiyo-e artist. Katsushika Hokusai in the late Edo period. The dial is decorated with colored lacquer and their dimensional gold engraving. The movement is less than four millimeter deep and we believe it to be the smallest turbine by volume in the world. We will present this watch at selected Seiko boutiques around the world later this year. By presenting this and all the other creations you will see today at our boutiques, we will give our 
customers a new insight into the Seiko world, and this is very important to us. We need to show and explain this new Seiko world, and this is why we now have 64 boutiques around the world. My aim is to increase this to 100 in the coming years so that as many people as possible can experience the rich world of Seiko in the best possible way. When my great-grandfather, Kintaro Hattori, established Seiko 135 years ago, he was determined that Seiko would be always one step ahead of the rest. Today, we are still true to his idea, but we have renewed it for this new era. Our new range is born, my vision of Seiko as a brand that is moving ahead, touching hearts. We are moving ahead with important innovations in both high technology and traditional watchmaking, and we will touch the hearts of our customers by giving them more opportunities to enjoy the rich appeal of Seiko in new and engaging way. Thank you very much.